Hey YouTube. Uh, still very, very busy, but I had a few extra minutes today and I thought I would uh, chime in and uh, been shooting a lot of footage lately. I just haven't had time to sit down and get in front of the computer and do the editing on it. So this is kind of a raw video. Um, uh, this is about the only interaction you're going to really see other than uh, a narration through most of it. And uh, I'm just, you know, trying to get something up for you all. Uh, at any rate, uh, we're going to go through the uh, stages of the German Blue Ram babies. Uh, I have now three batches. Uh, the first batch, well, there was only one successful survivor from. The second batch, I got five successful survivors. And this latest batch, well... You'll just have to wait and see that, so watch the video, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, take it from there. start off with the oldest of the batches. This is, uh, well, the biggest guy there is the one single one, and the ones that are slightly smaller would be the second batch, which uh, I got five, uh, five that survived with. Um, they are now uh, got a 10-gallon tank all to themselves. Um, yes, there is a lot of algae in there, and they kind of peck at it, so I kind of leave it. I just clean the front pane for them. So I can see what's going on and I can see in through the top. So, But they're doing uh, good. They are now uh, graduating from the uh, baby brine shrimp to uh, some uh, grindle worms and uh, to some of the pelletized food and flake food. And uh, eventually within the next uh, week or so, probably going to get them completely over to like the flake food and the uh, pelletized food. And, you know, with an occasional treat of some of the Grendel worms. But I think they're about done with the uh, uh, baby brine shrimp. And, uh, yeah, that's where they're at. So um, we'll take a look over here. At, uh, this is the third batch that I was telling you about. Um, this is, uh, oh, maybe two, uh, maybe uh, 10 days, four, uh, 10 to 14 days, something like that into it. Uh, this is when they had just been moved over out of the container into, uh, into a, uh, the five gallon tank that I had in the bathroom. And, uh, I will give you an update on what's going on with that real soon too. Um, but at any rate, uh, I think, yeah, this is like 10 to 10 to 14 days somewhere in there. I'm not sure exactly when I shot this footage, but, uh, this is, uh, they're just, uh, just babies. And as you can see, there's baby brine shrimp that are down on, down on the uh, floor of the tank. So, uh, that's all they're eating at this point. And, uh, of course I'll give them a dose of, uh, vinegar eels from time to time. Still looking to, uh, get a culture of uh, mic microworms, excuse me, just ate a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, still looking for a culture of microworms, so if anybody's uh, anybody's got something they can send me, I know that they don't do well in the heat. Uh, so uh, I'm in uh, Western South Carolina. If you're local enough, you know, like Atlanta, Charlotte, within so many, you know, where we could do it, like, uh, you know, mail it and get it within two days or whatever like that, and uh, you know, that might work out. Um, so here we are, we're shifting over to, uh, this is actually today. Um, this is a, a little uh, video camera, uh, you know, like a child monitor type uh, IP camera <laughs> that I have on the tank. Uh, and yes, I am working on uh, getting that to where I can do a live feed out to the internet too. But uh, so far, all I've found is the, uh, you got to pay to stream it up to the internet to, to where you can put it on like a web page um, or have it on the thing. So I'm looking for the, uh, you know, where I don't have to pay for it because uh, it's just not worth it to me to pay 
that much money to have a feed of the fish swimming around in a tank. <laughs> so if I can figure out a free way of doing it, or if somebody out there knows it, please uh, hit me up and uh, let me know about it. Uh, leave a message in the comments or get in touch with me via email, paulsplantedaquariums at gmail.com. Um, but uh, yeah, this is them swimming. Uh, they still kind of hover around the back of the tank a lot, of course. Now that is not all of them. That's a, that's a good many of them, and uh, they are oh maybe the size of a caper. Uh, for reference, uh, maybe a little bit smaller than a caper, if you know what a caper is. And uh, don't feel bad if you don't, because I didn't know what one was until somebody showed me just recently, because I don't eat capers, evidently. Or if I do, they were put on some food and I didn't know what they were. <laughs> so at any rate, they uh, about half the size of a pea, because everybody knows what a pea is. <laughs> so. So, but uh, yeah, they are doing well. They are eating uh, heartily. Uh, they are just now getting into uh, taking uh, a few of the uh, uh, grindle worms. Um, if I had that culture or I had a culture of micro worms working right now, they would definitely be eating those. But uh, their primary is the uh, baby brine shrimp and the uh, vinegar eels at this point. And now we're going to jump over to a different shot, and you're going to have to uh, kind of ignore the mess in there. I had just pulled the uh, Java moss that I had in there out, and uh, it's still there's still a lot of crud in the uh, in the waterway right now. It's still settling out, and uh, yeah, obviously I'm about to do a water change on this, uh, but uh, I thought I'd get a, a shot of them where you could kind of see, you know, how many there really are in there. Um, quite a few, obviously. <laughs> um, but as I said, they're doing great. And um, now I'm going to kind of take you over to how I do water changes on them. So this is how I do uh, my water changes for the uh, German Blue Rams. Um, this is a batch of GBRs that I just moved over from uh, a, a specimen container that was hanging on the inside of their parents' tank that I was doing daily water change, twi twice daily water changes on. I just moved them in the five gallon yesterday. This is the first water change that they've had since I moved them over. And let me see if I can zoom in on them here. Uh, I can do this. Yeah, you see them all over there in the corner? There is one heck of a lot of them. I'd say 30 to 40 in this in this batch. And they are all doing pretty good. A lot better than the first groups of groupings that I've had. Let's see if I can get a better shot at this. go. Oh, they went down lower. There they are. There's a lot of them in there. Um, I've been feeding them uh, vinegar eels. Here's my bottle of vinegar eels. And I do use the method with the uh, beaker style bottle in a, in a patch. Zoom out here. There's the. So I pour straight out of the main bottle and fill it up to about right there on the with the the uh, vinegar water and eels, and then I poke this, which is a piece of uh, pinky filter filter floss down in the neck of this bottle down to about right there which leaves this space up above and then I uh, use a syringe to add just fresh water out of the tank on this top part above the the filter this so that's a clear water buffer the worms will naturally try to get up to the surface for oxygen so you let it sit for about two hours and they work their way through this uh, filter floss and get up in here in the clean water 
and when you feel like you got enough of them you take another uh, eyedropper syringe or a, you know, I guess you could use a uh, pipette or whatever I use these these are uh, 10 cc things and uh, just go down in here and draw them up and uh, put them in the tank and that's how I feed water in here. Set this guy down. Anyway, this is how I'm uh, replacing the water. Fill this little container up. Then I got a five gallon bucket with a lid on it and this little this is about a gallon bucket. I fill that bucket up and add some declor straight out of the tap guys add some declor to it and I got my siphon hose in there which twirls around the base of this thing and comes out down here right at the top so all I have to do is start the siphon and there we go she fills away. Let's see what's going on in there. But uh, yeah, you can. There's a couple of them swimming around. They get around. They are definitely free swimming and. Uh, camera. Yep, that's uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Though. There's a couple more of them right there. I know this thing isn't picking them up very well, but that's the latest batch of a uh, German Blue Ram. So apparently I am getting a little bit better at this. I'm stumbling and falling and failing miserably and then getting back up on my feet and trying again and uh, I guess eventually you do uh, figure the magic potion out but that's uh, that's my setup for their water changes and uh, as far as uh, draining the tank out I just uh, I just use this I scoop it out and pour it directly into the into the sink so now the other batch and I ended up with six that survived. It is down in this 10 gallon right this now. Box. And a box oh, there's one of them. That showed you a world beyond your own. Right there. It was just a box. But the six of them survived. Some of the oh, there's two of them. The box can be almost any size or shape. There's one back over and you decide right here somewhere. Explore. Any two later in there. And there's some more over. Where yeah. well, they hide well until they color up. They really they mix right in with the sand. There's one right there. And there's one. And there. It's right there. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing well, so I got I got six out of that batch, which is the first batch that I had to survive out of. And I think I'm hoping to get like at least 20, hopefully 30. You know, the more the barrier, but they still got a little ways to go to grow out. And the parents down here are already cleaning off the slate again, so I think they're getting ready to breed again. Wednesday at 10 on ETV. Yep, that's all I got for you today. Sorry I've been uh, distant lately, Maybe but uh, your I got a bad tooth. Call one. And until I get this thing pulled. Call two ETV.
TV. I've been in pain. Could so. you explain a bit about this face? Yeah, with, uh, that's my problem. Facebook something. Anyway, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. I've typed in www.